Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Aries, how are you doing? My name is Simply Falcon. and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, Aries, I would love for you to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because yeah, that's how I keep up with you. I'll see the comments, right? Uh, as well, if you do find some cards, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Aries, because it does help out my tarot reading channel a lot. And always, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step, Aries, to support my tarot channel in that way. Um, and then finally, Aries, before we get into this reading, I feel the need to remind everybody uh, that when it comes to receiving my readings, my weekly readings, uh, it's just here to give you some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider, Aries. Never making a choice in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, not these tarot cards. I believe that readings, tarot readings are here to provide some a perspective just to consider and something just to you know help you make choices so enough of my rambling aries let's get into your reading with your objective card for this week and your objective card is aries the dawn of wands so this is the uh, page of wands a uh, really good card to have this is the card i like to say is uh starting uh starting out uh with a clean slate in regards to uh, something Aries, usually when this card steps forward, um, this is, uh, you usually are inspired by something. Usually something steps forward to you that kind of just like, uh, catches your interest, right? It kind of has you in this place where you are entertaining the idea on delving into something deeper, right? Uh, into something deeper, leaning further into something, just, you know, dipping your toes into that water, right? Getting your toes wet. Um, so whether this is a person or a, uh, situ you know, whatever, whatever the source may be for you, whatever this is, you're putting your energy into Aries, there is some type of, uh, interest for you to be like, ah, oh, something caught your eye, right? So looking at the clarifiers on this, we have the Hierophant card coming in for you, Aries. We have as well the Queen of Wands. And then we have the Hanged Man. So these are the clarifiers with your objective card, Aries. And so in this dynamic, this is letting me know kind of a, someone where, I mean, Hierophant uh, is always involving some type of a uh, deeper commitment of some sort, Aries. Maybe for some of you guys, you guys have been on the fence about really uh, taking action, right, with the Hanged Man and towards some type of like personal project for your self aries right with that queen of wands tending to your own flames in some type of capacity so in this type of dynamic right when you have that as your objective card this leads me to believe aries there's something that uh I feel like something, I can't help but feel like something like got your ears perked up or something happened that really has you interested now, uh, re-interested rather, into taking action in regards to something, really making those big decisions for yourself, right? Finally, like, this is something that like came into my mind. It's just like finally like publishing some type of book, right? Finally like putting yourself out there. I do feel like for uh, this reading in specific areas, this is really going to hone in on uh, a message for those areas that are needing to uh, break out of something, right? Breaking, well, more so, I say something, but more so kind of like breaking out of the, your um, shell areas in some way. So let's get into further into your reading now we have the six of pentacles coming in for you so let's get into this uh let's pull some clarifiers with this right because usually when it comes to the six of pentacles this is uh in regards to um figuring out like it's usually like some type of exchange of energy right or at least that's how i see it as aries and so with this this is almost like a let's look at this Okay. All right, Aries. So for your clarifiers, for your Six of Pentacles, we have the Eight of Cups, right? This is the Eight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Cups. We have the Emperor card coming in for you, Aries. We have the World card coming in. 
And then we have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. Now I don't uh, read or I don't inverted doesn't matter. I don't relay that message. It's always intuitive for me. So me feeling that detail doesn't matter, uh, Aries, but you have the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So in this dynamic, there's something that you were like, in regards to some type of exchange of energy, the world card coming in here, some type of old cycle, something that you, I feel like you can't, you couldn't let go of for some, for some amount of time now, Aries. I do feel like there's a bit of history here. Usually, generally as well with the world card, Aries, this is a sign of, um, yeah, it just, I always just see this as like a cycle of some sort that has developed over a long period of time. And, you know, just as like a random example, like something that came to mind is if you're in like a circular, like small pool, I don't know if anyone else did this as a kid, um, where like if you just have everyone going in one direction, like then the water will start uh, whirlpooling in that direction. So I feel like this is something that's like been a consistent, like, uh, feeding into like this has been like a build up. There's been momentum with this. I feel very so. It lets me know this long term cycle. And with, hmm, do we want to pull a clarifier? Uh, we're gonna pull one here because I feel like it's necessary. Emperor's coming in. I'm glad I did. Um, with this Eight of Cups here, this lets me know of uh, you're finally moving out of this cycle at the very least, right? When I say, when I see the Eight of Cups, I always say this is the card of going to bigger and better waters, even if you can't see the bigger and better waters quite yet. Um, again, I feel like you're taking this movement because you're inspired by something. Something really just, I can't help but feel like caught your interest or um, has really had you uh, leaning into one type of way. Now, um, we will get into this Empress card now. This is why I was glad I pulled this card for you, um, is because of the fact that, let me make sure I don't get these cards mixed up, separate them. Um, with this dynamic, I am glad I pulled it because it's letting me know of, uh, I'm clarifying more so, uh, areas as to why you're leaving some type of cycle. That's where, like, I felt like the whole in this uh storyline so far i was getting I was trying to figure out like what inspired you to do this and with this empress card here this is letting me know especially with the emperor card uh matching this energy as well as a clarifier this is letting me know more so aries that you kind of have just grown up a little bit you've grown up a little bit um you're holding yourself accountable i definitely see a lot of uh well you're starting to at least you're starting like because i say starting to aries just because i feel like this is just like the progressional thing the, the momentum building up for you to get the wheels of fortune turning into your favor i feel like it's a progressional thing for you um and the more that you uh are honest with yourself um aries the more i see you just continuing on with this forward motion now i say it's important for you to be accountable for yourself because of this eight of cups here with your emperor and your empress card coming in because with this dynamic you kind of have to hold yourself accountable and being like being able to acknowledge aries and be like knowing what it is that you're signing yourself up for right aries so when you take this journey of the eight of cups and you go you take that journey of trying to go to bigger and better waters aries you kind of have to um be the responsible one of like um not only just folding not making sure that you don't fold in the towel soon enough right but it's also that sense of um what is the words i'm trying to think for this aries it's like uh being prepared for it and giving it like the uh proper um adult chance so let's just say for example aries like for simplicity's sake let's uh talk about you know especially with that queen of wands let's talk about like putting out that book right maybe before every time that you would start putting energy into like uh editing that book or wanting to you know writing that book rather um you your practices weren't very proper or not proper uh very uh refined right so you just write some words here write some words there very disorganized not really structured right very carefree about it and i feel like this is now a time where you're going to be a lot more responsible about your approach in it if you're trying to like lose weight as well Aries, maybe this time you're being a lot more responsible in like signing up for that gym you know um taking a lot more seriously i just see you taking something a lot more seriously now Aries, 
than you normally ever have before. So that's a really good sign, right? So let's get into your, uh, let's do the Nine of Wands next because this is kind of a very much so uh, continues on this message that I was trying to say from before, right? And I felt drawn to pull a moon card, disseminating moon, take time to breathe out. Very interesting dynamic to have with this um, Aries, because with this, this is letting me know of um, with this nine of wands here, someone feeling a little bit overwhelmed almost, right? Because even though you have um, this sense of like being like, oh, you need to add more structure. I feel like the red flag here that I'm getting and what I wanted to kind of like hone in on uh, Aries is that uh, when maybe even when you do try to add structure into your life, you try to do too much at once, right? So when someone decides to like lose weight, for example, right? Maybe they'll like sign up for a gym a lot of times. They'll sign up for a gym. They'll also like cut out sugars and carbs and like everything. Like they'll do a lot at once, right? Um, and that's kind of, um, well, like on paper, yeah, you want to ideally like let go of all these things and like improve all these things. You kind of are setting yourself up to fail um, by just throwing everything with no set plan, no set structure. Um, and yeah, you need, I feel like you, this is like this time it feels different for you. This time it just feels like uh, Aries, you're going about this in a more just mature uh, structured place this is something I just keep on getting. So let's look at some clarifiers for those. Now Aries, let's get these cards in order before I show them as well. So for you, we have, for your nine of wands, rather Aries, your clarifiers, we have the nine of cups. We have the hierophant following you. Interesting how this hierophant is following you. Um, we have the king of swords. And then we have the five of pentacles. And then the ten of pentacles. Okay. So breaking this down, Aries. Oh, give me a moment, actually, while I set these cards out. Aries, I can't help but feel... Yeah. I feel like this is kind of seemingly like the pattern that it, that it is that you need to break. Because I see you, Aries, having really good intentions, right? With this Ten of Pentacles here, I see you really trying to strive towards the stability, right? This lets me know, like, the mind of, like, what's going on with you right here, right? It's like your mind is on stability. Your mind is on, um trying to just bring forward that i mean ten of, i see ten of pentacles in general um aries as like that abundant card and matching that energy with the nine of cups like your intention intentions are trying to be fulfilled your intentions are trying to just really be in this place like i feel like you're willing to put in put in the work for it um aries truly like i don't feel like I don't feel like where it is that you feel like that you've been lacking or that you have been struggling in or haven't been progressing as quickly in Aries. I don't feel as if it's anything to do with necessarily the physical actions that you're taking, right? Um, because I see you taking action. I see you always just with your intent in mind trying to get to that Ten of Wands or Ten of Pentacles, ten, Nine of Cups. But with this Five of Pentacles here, this is where it's kind of like the, sh uh, the issue here. Five of Pentacles, King of Swords energy. This is where it's kind of like a, you getting in your head, uh, Aries. It feels like a lot of you guys have a really strong inner saboteur going on. Um, what I mean by this is like once, like, it, I feel like a lot of you, um, Aries can like, kind of uh catch yourself and this is not me like being whatever right and we all can kind of sometimes do this um but i see you in your head a lot and i see you kind of catching yourself in spirals right so it's just like if you just get into like a little bit of a bummed out state right that's like the time will, you will, where your mindset will be like oh well, screw it like you just don't care like um you don't take care of things that you normally would take care of you wouldn't um things that you feel insecure about like it just feels like you get in your head and start self-sabotaging in some type of way right you get the point with that i don't need to hone in on that for too much longer right but with this hierophant here i feel like again like you're just holding yourself accountable now there's like a little bit more of an honest conversation with yourself 
and it's with that honest conversation that you have with yourself aries that that's when the forward progression happens but i do feel like a conversation is essential for you right because here's the thing you remember um i mean you remember i was just saying from before aries right of where it's like um i feel like you guys are taking a lot of action like i don't feel like your lack of progression or your feelings of lack of progression stem from um you not taking action i feel like it's just like a mental thing for you heavily because especially with that king of swords and with this taking time to breathe out like quite literally aries you're being told to take a pause and to assess situations and to like you know get right with yourself do a mental health check with yourself make sure that the path that you started out on is still the path that you're trying to go on or is still the path that you're on in the first place right um aries so yeah let's just continue on with your messages now we're going to look at now your five of pentacles coming in again this is part of the reason why aries that i was saying that i feel like for some of you guys you guys are just really in your head and have some like inner sabotaging issues here now you know from my own personal thing it's almost just like for a lot like i'm willing to bet for a lot of you aries you guys growing up had like the dynamic of where or maybe you are currently in a, in a dynamic where it's just like if you mess up or you you convince yourself where it's like if you mess up then you're going to be yelled at or if like you mess up then like everything's going to fall apart right very much so like a I mean this in the best way, Aries, but it's, you're very much so like Chihuahua energy, where it's just like you just shouldn't, you're just sitting there, um, and just really shaking and ang super anxious, right, about everything. So let's look at the clarifiers for your Five of Pentacles here. We have the Devil card coming in. We have the Chariot card coming in as well. We have the Fool card. And then we have the Nine of Pentacles. So breaking this down, Aries, this is such a, this is what it is that you're feeling insecure about. Um, with this Devil card coming in here, this is where, like, your insecurity coming in here, right? And I feel like, again, I can't help but feel like you're overcoming this just because, like, at the beginning of this reading, um, Aries, like, you remember, like, you're starting afresh. And especially with the Fool card coming in, yeah, you definitely are starting fresh. But... Um, I don't feel like this fresh start comes with attached with this devil, right? This is the, uh, inner saboteur that I was saying, right? This is what it is that, uh, sabotage is like you going into that forward progression, right? With this nine of pentacles and this chariot card coming in here, this is letting me know someone that probably has an insecurity in themselves in terms of like what it is that they have to offer right um an insecurity and wit and feeling like again almost as if like um they're constantly in this place i can't help but feel like aries a lot of you guys are in this constant place of fight or flight um in this constant place of fight or flight and trying to uh just make sure that you're on good basis with everything but it's because of this obsession with trying to make sure that you're on good basis with everything that you really start getting in your head you start having that anxiety right and that's when the devil starts coming out and starts starts sabotaging the good things in your life because you start getting in your head aries um so again that's why i keep on saying like that need it seems to be of like just accountability holding yourself accountable keeping yourself in check right the fool card is really a card of like i feel like coming in here where trying to emphasize on the message areas of starting with just starting anew right starting with no old attachments no old grudges no old ways of thinking no old insecurities right just completely just like completely un no nothing weighing you down right nothing from the past weighing you down um as you feed that flame from before right and the only way to feed into that inspiration that you're feeling here is is to really be honest with yourself on the old habits that really have prevented you from progressing up until this point right that you feel like you haven't progressed right because i feel like a lot of you guys are just also extremely hard on yourself and if you're honest with yourself areas you would be willing to acknowledge how much you've done right it just is one of those things where it's just like you're super in your head super neurotic aries um but you're on the path towards king of pentacles right you're on this path towards stability you just have to um you just have a really high standard for yourself really extreme perfectionist nature 
um, maybe not even perfectionist nature. I mean, you're welcome to correct me, Aries, but more so just the sense of where it's like <sighs> you just have big dreams, big goals, big goals in mind with this King of Pentacles, big goals in mind, and with those big goals in mind, um, interesting, this comes back out. With those big goals in mind, um, Aries, uh, let me show you these cards that I'm looking at. Means just like overcritical nature that you might have. So the clarifiers that I have, uh, wrapping up this reading for you, the judgment card. So you really do care about, you care about just excelling, right? But it's because you care so much that you kind of stop getting in your, you get in your own way with this, uh, getting into your spotlight. Now, it's really honing in on this old message as Nine of Wands and Six of Cups here, Aries. So truly, if you're trying to have, if you're the best way to make ground towards your empire, right, as the King of Pentacles, towards that stability, towards having that success, right, with that, I mean, the Six of Wands is the victory card. Um, success, public recognition, right? Um, I do feel like your journey, Nine of Wands journey, is attached to addressing this old, um, energy that's been clinging on to you, which is like that devil card, right? Some type of old habit that's been with you, that's been part of your storyline for a really long time. And it's kind of like one of those times of uh, asking yourself, Aries, like, do you still want insert X to be part of your story for this much longer, right? Do you still want this in insecurity be to be part of your story for this much longer? Do you still want this issue, you know, whatever that is, whatever your thing is, it seems to be like some issue that has constantly weighed you down love that voice crack um and you know this is the only thing that's holding you back at this point everything it's kind of just sitting there waiting for you you just have to uh kind of let yourself be i guess um but yeah aries that's the reading that i have for you if you enjoyed this reading be sure to give this video a like and subscribe aries um let me know in the comments below which cards resonated and how and also aries i do the weekly readings for weekly general re tarot readings for all the zodiac signs so if you have a friend that's into tarot or even if they're not aries excuse me, uh, share my videos with them and maybe they'll find a tarot message that resonates with them as well. But until next time, Aries, I love you so much. Bye.